Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over the new redesigned uh, multi-view display on the 2015 Dodge Charger. On the steering wheel, it's also redesigned. We're going to be using this quadrant of buttons with the OK. And we'll be using the 7 inch thin film transistor display in the center as kind of a guidance. They've redesigned the new uh, instrument cluster and it looks very, very nice. Um, some of the details that I like are like in the speedometer and the tack. Like you have the red needle and then the outline of the mounting post also is highlighted in red as well as the perimeter of the gauge. And I like the honeycomb look which is repeated on the, on the liquid crystal display as well. A little bit more uh, sporty and uh, just looks a little bit nicer than the previous style which I did like as well. So what I do like is the new reconfigurable display and I'm glad they put it on the charger now. So as you can see you have two mechanical gauges, your tack and your speedometer and the center and here in between is all thin film transistor display screen similar to the, what's in the Dart and in the 200 and in the new 300 which will be out soon and in the RAM with the multi-view display. So up at the top you have three different mo or three different sections you have the top left the center and the top right and then you have your coolant gauge off to the right of the tack and then you have your fuel gauge to the left of the speedometer so we're going to go into the menus right now we're in just the main menu the speedometer menu if I press down on the steering wheel I go into vehicle info as you can see below where it says tire pressure, there's several, there are several different tick marks. That means that you can press the left or right arrow that many times and it takes you to that different menu. So right now we're in tire pressure. If I press right, it'll take me to the next menu, which is your coolant temperature. It'll actually show the actual temperature in a digital gauge. And you have your transmission temperature, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, which is nice. You can reset that your all-wheel drive status right now you can see that the front wheel, front wheels are stationary all power is going to the rear wheels via the drive shaft and your battery voltage you're going to move down to aisle, uh, item number three your fuel economy just different you have different fuel economy modes that you can do A and B basically one shows your current miles per gallon in your range and the other one is just overview. <clears throat> trip information, you have trip A and trip B. How many miles you've gone, your miles per gallon during that trip, your trip elapsed time, and then of course you have trip B for the exact same. Section 5 is your audio. It just repeats what's shown on your um, Uconnect screen. Number six is messages. If anything happens with the vehicle, like your seatbelt's not fastened, um, tire pressure's low, or anything like that, those st show up in stored messages. Screen setup. Press OK to enter screen setup. And what's really nice, too, is you can see here it says center, and then up at the top, it's actually highlighted in red. So if you hit OK, you can select different what you want. So right now, as a default, it's menu title, but then you can set different. And you can press OK to save it, or you can also hit, if you don't change it, you can just hit the left arrow to back out. Upper left, you'll see it will highlight red, which is really nice. It kind of shows you where you're at. Press OK, and then it basically gives you the exact same options. Upper right, same thing. You can restore back to factory defaults. Your current gear you can show or hide your current gear right now we have it as shown you can also opt to show or hide your odometer your gear display you can either have it as a single where it is right now where it's it'll show park or reverse neutral drive or you can hit full which gives you the full PRND
and then we're back to center again. And of course your speedometer, you can change it over to kilometers an hour too. So that's essentially it. That's the, an overview of the new 7-inch Multi-View display and the new Dodge Charger. Thanks for watching.